Hey, what is up guys? It's Brendan here and today I'm going to be showing you how to customize email templates and notifications on Shopify. Now, before we dive into things, I do want to mention if you don't already have a Shopify store, you can go and check out that first link down in the description box below. That's brendanvaleski.com forward slash Shopify. It'll take you right over to this page here where you can get started with a Shopify free trial. You can get started with Shopify for free today. Again, that's that first link down in the description box below. And without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into the tutorial. So of course, you're going to want to make sure that you are logged into your Shopify dashboard. Next, you're going to come over here to the bottom left-hand corner and click on settings. Now, you can also search for this in the search box here as well, but I'm just going to be showing you step-by-step -step through the settings menu. Once you go to settings, you're going to scroll down until on the left-hand side, you see the section that says notifications. You're going to select that for notifications, and this is the primary area where you can edit and customize your email templates within Shopify. Shopify. This is all just directly through the base version of Shopify. This does not require any other additional apps or anything like that. This is all just in the standard version of Shopify. Uh, so once you get to this menu here in the notification section, you can customize email templates, which we'll be doing in just a second, where you can add your logo and a color theme to your email templates as well. Now, if you do want to do additional specific edits to any of these templates, you can also scroll through here in this menu here and edit them manually. Now, personally, I like to keep these templates as the default templates as far as the text goes. Uh, we'll be diving into the color and logo customizations in just a second here. Uh, but as far as the like order confirmation text, order edited, order invoice, I, you know, I like to keep a lot of these just as the standardized template. You can, of course, if you want to edit them, this is where you do that. You can actually edit the text for all of these different emails, customer welcome emails. Maybe if you want to add an additional discount code, uh, you could add that in here somewhere uh, for certain types of email marketing options that you just want to do um, as far as uh, doing that as well inside here if you want to add certain custom uh, changes and adjustments. So just to show you what that looks like, if you click in here and like order confirmation, uh, you can see what the preview would look like from email and SMS. You can also send test emails to your test email that is ba should basically be your Shopify store email uh, that you're sending emails from for your Shopify store. And as you can see here, this is sort of like what a test looks like. You can also see email or SMS in the preview. And of course you can feel free to edit things if you want. If you want to edit the email code, then you just click on edit code and you can scroll through here and edit the email body. This is an HTML as well. Um, and there are certain pieces of code uh, that you may need to look up additional information for what to do as far as HTML goes. Again, I like to leave these just the standard template, but this is where you edit it if you want to edit the different variables for customizing your email templates down to the text. Now, as far as changing the look and feel, it's a lot easier to do that. And that's where we're primarily breaking down here in today's video. You're gonna go back and you're gonna click on customize email templates. This will bring you to this menu here, which brings you up with just an order confirmation page. You can also click through and see like what things would look like uh, with other different uh, templates that they have set up for you in Shopify, such as order invoices, again, order edits, or just even order confirmation. Now to go ahead and customize this, as you can see here, then you can just select things on the right hand side here, such as editing your logo and your color. So we're gonna go ahead and add the logo first. So all you have to do, you can either drag and drop images or add images directly from your computer, or you can select from images that you already have uploaded to your Shopify store. So I went ahead and already uploaded this test logo here, which is for BB Co. It's, uh, I believe it's like dog collars or something. So you can adjust the logo size if you wanna make it a little bit bigger. By default, the standard logo in here uh, will just be like your 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 store's text. So like this is obviously text, test store for Tutorials 99, that's the name of this store. Uh, when you add your logo uh, and go ahead and save it, it will then update this template here to have your logo. Now by default, this logo may be a little bit big. As you can see here, dog collars custom to your pet, BB Co. Uh, we're gonna reduce the logo size here just to make it a little bit more manageable because uh, that is quite large. Okay, so that's maybe a little too small. Uh, you know, you can just kind of feel free and play with this however you want, just depending on the overall pixel sizes of your logo and how big you want your logo to be 
in your emails. But it's definitely a great idea to make sure you have your logo in your company emails so that people recognize your store uh, when they get an email from, of course, from your store. If they place an order or uh, any other kind of email contact that they receive from you uh, will sort of follow this exact template. Now to change the color, all you have to do here is then select colors, accent color. You can change this. You can even use uh, custom color codes if you want to do that uh, inside here, or you can kind of scroll through and uh, drag and click different accent colors. Um, and you do need to save this in order to view it. So we're going to go with something a little bit kind of like a gold, I guess, some sort of like a... Hey. Some sort of like a pastel orange, I guess. I don't know. Uh, we're going to go ahead and click save. And that's a little bit too light, maybe, if you want to go a little darker. Maybe we just go with some sort of blue. <laughs> blue is honestly one of the best colors in general. That's why the default color is blue. Uh, but, of course, you can feel free to match your branding. Maybe we go with something like purple, pink, kind of a, I don't know, maybe a dark red. Sort of like a darker, darker red, maybe something like that. Sort of like a burgundy kind of maroon color. Okay, let's try that. So go ahead and click save. And as you can see here, okay, that looks a lot better in my opinion. So you can play around with the different accent colors to make sure that it kind of looks right. Uh, but that's how you edit your overall templates uh, for your emails. Again, this is just the default email templates that Shopify has built in to the Shopify app. If you want to do other customizations, maybe you need to look elsewhere at other additional email apps such as Klaviyo, uh, MailChimp. There's a bunch of other like more uh, custom email setups, especially with a platform like MailChimp. I mentioned them on the channel before. If you want other more um, specific email templates and for more additional like email marketing setup, if you're looking more for email marketing setup, you need to look elsewhere for that. Or even if you just use the Shopify uh, marketing app, which you can go over here, Shopify marketing section, uh, and you can set up email campaigns uh, in here. So this is where you can go ahead and edit uh, email marketing campaigns and automations if you want to edit some of that. So abandon checkout emails, as you can see here, uh, we click in here. See, so we already have that on here. Uh, but if you want to edit some of the other email uh, automation templates, you can do that here within the email marketing uh, campaigns within Shopify. This is the marketing section. And then you just go to like create campaign and you can do Shopify email. So this is if you want to do like more additional customizations to your Shopify store uh, as far as email marketing. Uh, and they do have good templates in here as well. So as you can see here, uh, you can do like new arrivals, uh, product restocks, sale announcements. These are like more email marketing focused versus just the typical standard automated email like order confirmed, uh, order edited, uh, your order has been shipped, things like that is what I already just showed you before. If you're looking more for just like actual branded templates for doing specifically email marketing, this is where you get to it on your Shopify store and how to customize them. As you can see here, we have already um, customize this on another tutorial, uh, just showing you kind of like a test of what you can do here. Uh, you can easily drag in, add products, and this is more just general email marketing again, something differently that different that you could just send out to your email list in your Shopify store, uh, different from the actual email notifications that get sent out automatically with your Shopify store. So hopefully that kind of helps clarify the difference there as well and kind of showing you, hey, if you do want to do this, that's where you go in Shopify if you want to do your more email marketing focused. If you just want to edit the more automated notification templates uh, that are just built into Shopify, again, you just go to settings, go down to your notifications. These are your more standard issue. Again, gift card created, fulfillment request, uh, out for delivery, you know, all your delivery notifications, things like that, order confirmations. That's how you customize those basic email templates and how you go in. And if you want to do more advanced email marketing, where you can go and customize that as well. So hopefully you guys found this video helpful. If you did, be sure to smash that like button. Again, if you don't already have a Shopify store, you can go and check out that first link down in the description box below. That's brendavaleski.com forward slash Shopify. There's a link right over this page here where you can get started with a Shopify free trial. Again, that's that first link down in the description box below. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video again. If you do, be sure to smash that like button, hit the subscribe button as well, and the notification bell so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. But anyway, guys, that is all for today's video, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.